Welcome back, guys, to another video. Another review, I should say. This is Dash L. Rose here. I am back to talk about another childhood school I've been to. This is the second to the last, you know, school I I've been to. And now we're moving on to high school. Well, I guess technically, technically there was apparently a preschool that I guess I was at before Special Learning Center, which I wasn't aware of. But I can't review that because I would have been too little to be able to go to that. Um, I didn't know about that. Apparently my mom pointed that out. Honestly, she kind of acts like she knows knows a lot of things. Um, uh, But to be fair, she's also... You know, the one who took care of some of that stuff when I was itty bitty. So, um, yeah, but I'm gonna get into what I'm talking about that here in a, in a, few, in a few. But I do want to talk about, you know, of course, high school because, you know, because high school, you know, is a very, um, different time for people. A lot of people hate it, some people like it, you know, some people actually, or a lot of people I know wish they could go back to, to high school. Now, I don't know if I would say that or not. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys my thoughts on, like, what school, if I had the option to go back to, I would go return to again. Um, like, when I'm done with the, um, you know, the next high school. But I will also be reviewing, um, reviewing college, even though I've never been to college. I do want to review it, you know, because I figured, you know, why not review it, because... I mean, even though it's an optional place, I still want to review it. So, um, so yeah, but, but anywho, anywho though, I'm gonna, anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this review. So, um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys are not interested about me talking about my childhood, there's other reviews I've done on, you know, TV shows and, you know, movies and all that. So, this is for people who are interested in learning about my childhood. So, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, this is the Hannibal High School. Now, before I, you know, talk about my experience with it, I do need to point this out. I was actually going to showcase the bells because I have, um... I recorded the bell sound effects. I thought they were saved on my um, 3DS. By my the one I you know I actually have the same 3DS I had during high school there. That's the one I thought the, the bells were saved on, but apparently they're not on there. I thought I had them saved on the system memory, but again they're not there, so I don't know why that is. I, I know I copied that stuff to the SD card too, to back them up, but I did not know I did not have on the system memory as well. Um, but apparently, yeah, they're, they're not there, so I don't know what that's all about. So I don't have access to them. I could get them later, but I'm trying to get some stuff done this week, and I don't want to keep holding this video off. But I gotta go somewhere tomorrow, I gotta go into town, so... So, uh, yeah, but, but, yeah, I wanted, I did want to get this video out of the way, so, but I'm going to try to remember that next time. But I was waiting until the, to, to showcase them until a high school thing, but I guess it, it doesn't matter. I can do it, you know, reviewing JC High School, because I did record a bell sound there, too. But, you know, I wanted to do it now because, um, you know, in case I forgot, you know, and I could showcase the bell sound from the JC High School, but I I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. That was supposed to be in the video, but it's not. But anywho, let's go ahead and actually talk about the school. Now I gotta tell you guys, I I had like going to school here though. Honestly, I had a really rough time. Mostly because I was trying to adjust to, to changes. I I was literally going through so much stuff at this time. I really was. 
Um, I told you guys in my middle school years that Hannibal was probably one of the worst, well, actually the worst, um, you know, time in my life. It was bad. Mostly from home. Home absolutely sucked. It sucked. Like, it was freaking awful. It got worse and worse. And at this time, things were really bad at home. Like, my stepdad was doing drugs and... My mom and him were fighting and all that, and it it was freaking a mess. Like it was a it was painful to listen to. Not to mention my brothers were like you know, like I was scared of them. Like I was literally scared to go home and deal with this stuff. But I I, ne I never told anybody about this stuff at school because I was afraid if I mentioned anything that child services would come. And I would be gone. I mean, to be fair, I didn't want to put up with that crap. But I was afraid to say anything because I didn't want to open my big mouth. And then something happened, you know. Yeah, because I, I had that happen with, with the doctor, you know. Like, I mentioned to the doctor and I opened my big mouth telling her about, like, I didn't want to go to the hospital and all that. Like, this hospital because, you know, of an incident that happened, which... Well, you know, it shouldn't have been a big deal, but I don't know, I, I kind of, I, I'm not going to say, it was something personal, you know, that disability people, some of them, you know, deal with, but I don't know, it just made me uncomfortable, so she, she took me to another hospital, and um, I, I regretted it, and, um, you know, because I got put in the autism center because they didn't change my damn medication, and I missed a crap ton of school. Personally, I'm surprised I didn't get held back, you know, in, in eighth grade because I missed so much school. But, um, I don't know. But because I was struggling at home with lots of things, I was struggling at school as well. Honestly, I was going through a phase where I was literally, I could not remember a lot of things. Like, I was dealing with some sort of amnesia or something. Because I was so stressed out. At home because of you know, yeah, you know, like I was, you know, I was stressed out, you know, at home with some things. So at school, I was, you know, struggling because of that, and I couldn't remember a lot of things. It got so bad I couldn't even remember to go to the bathroom sometimes. Not not to say I went to the bathroom in my pants. I didn't do that, but I um, but I did, you know. But what what ended up happening was. You know, you know how your brain's supposed to tell you when you gotta go to the bathroom or something. Well, sometimes it would be it would get disabled and I would not have to go to the bathroom anymore. It would completely blank from my mind. It was bad. I will tell you what was even worse. This is gonna come up in the J.C. High School, which I'll bring that up. Um, but th this this um like I well I got put on this medication. And I was stuck on it for freaking two years. This was... I got put on this, like, in September. September of that year. I, I, I got, you know, put put on, you know, this medication. And I tried to tell the doctor to take it, take it off of me. And, um... You know, but, but you know... But the doctor wouldn't do it. And I, I, I knew the med... I mean, I get the doctors are supposed to be the ones doing the job and all that, but... It doesn't mean the patients can't point out something when something's wrong. I knew something was wrong because I had this, like, talking thing. So I was I was not dealing with not being able to talk very well. I was able to talk. Uh, but, but the problem is, is, like, everything that I would say in my head, I, I would, it actually would say out loud. And it also made me feel a lot more aggressive. So... Basically, it was like, like, you know, having thoughts in your head, you know, and all that, and, you know, but, you know, like, but they're not in your head, it's just your, it makes you more aggressive. I was actually on that medication, you know, I think it was the same one as I was dealing with the same side effects. I mean, to be fair, some medications can have the same side effects or similar ones, but, but this one had, like, like, the same side effects. I don't remember what it was called. It started with an A or something. I think I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Um, but... But it had the same side of Like, you know, that... And I was stuck on it for freaking two years. I really was. And, um... And honestly, it sucked. It was bad. And I'm gonna tell you... Yeah, it, it led to one of the worst things to ever happen to me. But I'm gonna bring it up 
later because honestly it still upsets me to this day and I wish it wouldn't but it does but yeah it, it definitely messed something up very bad but that'll be for the JC high school review because honestly I'm still kind of pissed off about the whole thing with that too but I'm not talking about the JC high school right now I'm talking about this one which by the way the JC high school I did get to do a tour there as well I actually didn't get to finish recording. I, I wanted to record the outside of it, but I didn't get to that because um, you know, because my teacher's um daughter was was frustrated or something. I don't know, because she was waiting to go home or she she didn't get to eat or something. I'm like like doing a tour here, and I'm like this teach my teacher is like give was giving me a tour, and she was kind of just being a snob, and I'm like, I'm like that that's kind of disrespectful, and I mean. It does I mean, the teacher's just kind of letting her do that, too. I hate when people do that. They kind of just let you, like, they let you walk all over, over you, and it's just annoying, you know? Like, if I had one of my friends do that, I, I, I'd be like, or if I had kids, not saying I would ever have kids, um, but that's too much work. But if I had someone doing that to me, I'd be like, I'm like, you can wait a second, you know? I mean, like, I could be like, bitch, you can wait a second. You know, because I'm, I'm trying to do something. You know, or, you know, like... You know, I'm just like... I, I mean, I, I'm just like... You know, I, I mean, I don't want to be sitting there, you know, like... Trying to do something and, you know, someone's being unpatient. I don't I don't deal with that stuff. But, um... Yeah, I, I did get to do a tour. I didn't get to finish it. But, honestly, the outside of the school I'm not as concerned about... Because I can just record the outside. It's the inside of the school what I was mainly wanting to do. Because that's the si the inside, you know, and all that. But I did get that finished. I looked back at the footage. The footage was actually good. It showed up pretty good. But, um, yeah, I'll talk more about that later. Because I'm going to try to finish that up. Because it's going to be another month before I actually get to the, to the final school. So, that'll be like in August. But, um, yeah, so, but I did get to do that. Also, speaking of video in schools, I, I, I swear I thought I remembered, um, recording, you know, the JC, I mean, the JC, the Hannibal High School, too. I think I had remem memories of it, because I remember that. I was like, I'm like, how am I going to record? Because I was like, I had an aide with me, because this is like when I started getting an aide. Again, I didn't have an aide before that, but I did have an aide there. Honestly, I don't think I really needed an aide. I kind of... Again, I wasn't thinking very straight, and I was struggling really bad with changes, you know, on top of everything else, and it, it was just a mess. It was a, a really big mess, what was going on, and like I said, I had a, a, a screwed up doctor. The doctor was not doing her job, like she was putting me on medications, but like, like she was giving me new medications to help, but she wasn't taking me off some of the crap that was giving me problems, and it was frustrating, and... And all that, and my mother, my mother's like, again, she's like, she was a good doctor, blah, blah, blah. Because my, my, my mother, honestly, although she's right about some stuff, she doesn't always admit, well, she doesn't admit when she screwed things up. She, it's always someone else's fault, it feels like. I mean, there'll be occasions where she will admit she screwed up on stuff, but most of the time, it is, it, she never admits what she does, and... I've even had that on video of her doing that stuff, you know, and just, it's just... It's frustrating, you know, but I'll probably eventually down the road go through my, you know, my childhood and, you know, and things I grew up with and tell you guys about each year that I can remember. But I'm not doing any of that right now. After the schools, I'm taking a break and going back to stores. But yeah, I, I really do like talking about the, my childhood. It was I was a little bit mixed on it, but Again, I want to be able to share my, you know, thoughts on it. Because, you know, a lot of people do it during Let's Plays and all that. But but usually, you know, like, like, like because I'm doing reviews on places, I feel like, you know, I want to talk about it now, you know. But I'm going to say, too, we had, we had a teacher in, in school. Um, and he was, he was called Mr. Sousa. Or, uh, Mr. Sousa, right? Yeah, I think his name was Mr. Sousa, yeah. So I would, I would nickname him and call him Dr. Seuss, you know, because Mr. Seuss, uh, you know, and all that. It was pretty interesting. He was actually a huge Star Wars fan. He was. He was a huge, huge Star Wars fan. Um, 
I, at, at that time, I, don't know, I wasn't really a, a big, big fan. A big fan of it. I mean, I went through and watched all the movies, but I didn't really didn't. I don't. I didn't really get it. Like, I mean, I kind of watched the original movies too, I and mean, just wasn't really into them too much. But that was also years ago before I actually, you know, did that. You know, so. But you know, basically, you know, the, we had the sequel trilogy out and all that, and that's when I just like, yeah, I, I totally saw what was kind of happening, and people were pissed, and I was. It just, I mean, he can like, he can like it all he wants, you know. As long as he's not smug about it. I hate people who are kind of smart asses or smugs about that stuff. Or, or, or shit on you for not liking something. I hate those kind of people, but... But, um... But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, I will say, um... I will say, yeah, he's basically... But, yeah, he did like a lot of Star Wars. We also played... I don't remember this game we played in, in class, um... Well, I don't remember the name of it, um, there was this game we played, um, I don't remember it, but I remember it was kind of fun, but we also did play a lot of cahoots, we played a lot of cahoots, you know, with, with him and all that, and I actually remember my, my password for it, but I'm not gonna say it, cause, cause I don't want someone to, you know, steal my account, but, Cahoots, honestly, Cahoots are, are fun, but they're, they're, they're not really my favorite. I, I more prefer Go Noodle. I loved Go Noodle, because you can, like, you can, you can get, you can get, like, like, you can get nice music videos and all that, and then you can, like, dance to it, and, and you'll get exercise, and you can create your monsters. That was really nice, but we didn't really do a lot of that there. We kind of didn't, you know, do a lot of that. But we did, we, I'm gonna say, I did also have a class called Health, um, I had a class, though, definitely called Health, and, um, and, um, you know, like, we, we, we learned about, like, you know, the body and all that, and, I actually had to take Health, like, I think three different times, yeah, three different times I had to take Health, and honestly, it was kind of the same thing every time. So I, I'm gonna point this out to you real quick. This is kind of where I start feeling like school was starting to kind of feel pointless. Like, like, cause high high school has like 12 grades. It has 12 grades, and um, honestly, honestly, I feel like you know. Well, I feel like you know it has 12 grades. But, you know, I'm like, basically, it starts feeling like you're repeating classes and all that you've already taken. And I'm like, a lot of this crap, I can just do it at home, you know? I'm like, you can just do it at home. Or honestly, a lot of the stuff you're just going to forget down the road anyway, too. I mean, I guess the school's supposed to help you keep it there, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm just like, even before we had all this technology, like, I would even say back in the day, I'd be like, and I'm like, you know, I'm just like, why do we need school, I mean, like, why, I, I, I've been feeling like it's just pointless, I mean, elementary school and preschool, you got, you know, you got ki kids, you know, like, someone has to watch the kids, it's easier to just take them to school and, and all that, and, you know, then to have them do all this, but also, in elementary school, you're learning about a lot of stuff you will actually learn in the real world, like, planets, because if you want to look up at the sky, you know, and see the planets, you know, it's nice to, you know, it's nice to be able to learn about, like, where the planets are at and all that. Or stars or something. Also, you know, you have, um... You've got, you know, the, the faces of the moon, too. Because those, those could help, like... Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an, an astronomer, but I like looking up at the sky sometimes and seeing different stuff, you know. Of course, I also kind of forgot the faces of the moon. I remember, like... I remember some of them. Like, I remember the crescent and then... The half, and then the new moon, and then the, and then the full moon. But I don't remember the the, the three quarters one. I don't remember. I don't know if it was, but but I know there's also waning crescent, which is a, a, a flipped version of it. So they have those, and I mean it might have been just three quarters. I don't remember, but that, that, there's stuff like that, you know. And then there's states to you would learn and all that. But a lot of this stuff, you know, like, when you get into, like, high school, I'm like, you know, a lot of this you probably learn in the middle school, you know? So I'm just, I'm like, 
but like, why, why do, why, why do we need high school, you know? High school, I'm not gonna lie, definitely starts to feel kind of pointless, I mean, I mean, even, even this class is here, I've taken in the middle school, like, health, because I, I, I've taken health, you know, in the middle school, too, I took it in sixth grade. Yeah, I took health there, and then we've taken life skills and all that. We, I've taken, and then you have you have art and all that. So I, I've taken a lot of these classes already. So I'm just like, what's the point of it? I mean, I think we did learn some different stuff. Like there's some stuff we've learned. Like they they, they like I don't think I've learned about like like decimals and all that in school. Like you know and all that. But that's the thing though. It starts to feel kind of competitive. Like. Like, like you're, you know, when you get to high school and all that, you're, you've already learned all this stuff. So, it starts to feel kind of like high school kind of feels like, I, I think it should be just optional. Like, like maybe, maybe they, they, they shouldn't even have a college at all, maybe. They should just have high school. I don't know. I mean, I have to look into college again, because uh, cause college does teach you other stuff, too. But high school, yeah, I don't know. High school, I kind of feel like... Definitely feels like it doesn't feel like it's necessary really to get into life. Maybe the first couple years, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely, I mean, I've even told, I've even had people say, I've even had people say that. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, like, like, like it's kind of, it's kind of pointless because you're just gonna forget everything, you know, but. I, I have also had people say, you know, mostly my family, be like, well, if you go to high school, you can socialize with people more. But I'm like, socializing, you're, you're mostly just sitting in, in, a, in a classroom, staring at a board, and, and doing tests and all that. Like, and, and again, half of this crap, you're not even going to remember probably anyway. So I'm like, like, what's the point of it, you know? You know, I... Like, I think my mother and my dad can, can't remember some of the stuff they've learned in high school either. So I'm just like, what's the point of all of it, you know? Well, I guess, I guess you do, they do teach you about, like, they teach you about, like, the government and all that. But I'm pretty sure you can learn that stuff in the middle school, too. I mean, I learned some of it. And I was put in a special education classroom. So I'm just like, what's the point? What's the point of all this, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely think it. it, it I, I think there. I think middle school probably should have been the last school for like people. But of course, the government, you know, wants you to go to school and all that. Because if you don't, they, they'll, they'll. I think they'll. I don't know if they'll arrest you, but they'll fine you and all that. And it's just like, yeah, you got forced labor, you know, and all that. So yeah, again, you're pay, you're paying for all, for all these schools and all that. And I'm like, at the end of the day, you're. That you're gonna probably forget about the stuff, or or they'll just they'll just teach you. I mean, or they'll change up stuff in the future, discover new things. You know, it's just it's just pointless. You know, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I mean, elementary school and, and preschool. I get those because they teach little kids about the alphabet and all that, and those are things you you need to know every single day. But some of this stuff, I'm like, you don't really need to know every single day. But but I don't know. I don't know. But but I will I will say too I will say this that I um that I will say I did have fun with some of this stuff. I will say that like I did have fun we we did do science. I had fun with science. No, that we did I think we did, I don't think we did a lot of experiments though that I can remember, but we did do some science and um and then also um you know I said I like with, with well well the f the first half the first half of um you know of ninth grade like was I um, mean the first semester we did health in Miss Walkins classroom. The second half we did um we did like f like food and all that. That's the part I like because after you make the food you can eat it. So there there's there's that you know there's that and we we did take some field trips here too. Like we took a field trip to the to like a park and all that. I actually have photos of that and. I don't. I don't have the Black History because there's a Black History thing. My 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 aide, Miss Dan, because I had a different aide before that, but she um, I don't remember what happened to her, but she disappeared, and I Miss Dan took over. But I did have Miss Dan, and um, 
And Miss Dant, though, is basically, you know, she was obsessed with, you know, Martha Kate Jr. and all that, which makes sense because she was, she was black. So, you know, it makes sense. But she had, she actually had her own museum. We, we answered questions. We earned stuff. I actually had to step out there because it was crowded inside and loud. So we did stuff like that, which were fun. And then we, we also went to the cave again, too. We went to the cave. I got pictures of that, too. I didn't get any videos. I should have taken videos of it, but I didn't take any videos of it. Um, it was probably because, you know, the, to the tour is actually, I think it was, the tour is like a, an hour or something long. I think like an hour. It's it's long. And at that time, I only had like one, one 3DS, or like one SD card. I thought I had two. I thought I remember buying another one. But I, but yeah, but I thought, yeah, I definitely thought I remember buying another SD card. But I never found it, and we cleaned the whole house up, so I'm assuming I never had it, because it, because it wasn't in, in the house at Hannibal, because I, I, I took a lot of my stuff to my dad's, because my mother has a habit of leaving her crap there, like when she moved or something, and so, um, I didn't want to chance that. So, um, so yeah, we, we did do that stuff. We all, I also had Miss Frey move as a, again. She was my speech teacher. She's the one who played um you know, rake it up you know, which is fun and she also kind of helped with my stories that I made. Yeah, I made a lot of stories. You know, if you guys are wondering what the sto the stories are, those are scripts for my TV show and all that. I've been working on these things for years, like years. Unfortunately, though, I will say I lost all my stories because my mo my mother m moved moved out around the summertime. I'm like, like she. I mean, I kind of wished like could have got a hold of a school or something. Could have had my stories backed up, but no, no. Yeah, I had to lose all my freaking stories. To be fair, though, those stories were were not the best. I I kind of re I remember some of them. They were not like the best best. I re I redid a bunch of them, but but you know, but the thing is though is I would have liked to have them so I could show people kind of how they improved and all that, you know. But unfortunately, I do not have access to them. I mean, I have access to some of the stories I do, but not not all of them. I don't even remember how many stories I actually did because I I did do some, um, you know, because I I started doing them I think in seventh grade, but yeah, I lost like. Like, three years worth of stuff there, which sucks. And, um, yeah, I have some of them, but not all of them. I also had this whole thing on the one story. If you guys don't know what the one story was, well, basically, um, because I was going through so much stuff and all that, I wanted to, as crazy as this sounds, I wanted to, like, I wanted to create my, my own, my own, you know, like, heaven-like world where I could, you know, live live in peace, and not have to deal with all this stuff. Of course, I eventually backed it down, you know, you know, because, I mean, one, it's, it's going to be impossible, and number two, I mean, I would want to go back, and, I mean, even, even though I, I can't stand a lot of people because of the way I've been treated, you know, you know, not saying all of you guys, but I'm just saying I've been dealing with that stuff throughout history, but also I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want to, it's not right to control, like, people's lives and all that, you know, even if I do hate a lot of people and the way they treat me, you know, I don't, I still don't think it's fair, I mean, I, I hate, I hate my brother Keegan, like, I despise him, like, like, I'm gonna tell you guys, I, if Keegan, if Keegan ever passed away, I probably wouldn't miss him, I probably would dance on his grave, and that's a horrible thing to say, but, he treats me horribly, like he does. Like he, he, you know, basically, you know, always get he basically, you know, gets into my stuff, steals it, breaks it in pieces, and all that. Like, like he broke my phone stand and hid it underneath the couch and all that, which is the couch I'm at, I'm right next to right now. And uh, he's done a whole lot of horrible things. So yes, of course, I'm not gonna be, you know, happy with that, you know, and all that, but. Let's just say I, I'm not saying I'm gonna I, I'd kill him. I wouldn't do that stuff. That, that that's just evil. But I'm just saying like basically if anything happened to him, I wouldn't miss him. I wouldn't miss him. I 
I really hope he burns in hell. You know, I, I like we can burn in hell because I don't like him. But like I said, there's just people out there I don't like. But I mean, I wouldn't go. Like I said, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't. You know, like I mean, it would be nice if he didn't exist. You know, but I wouldn't. You know, like I said, I wouldn't. You know, if I if if it were real and you could change life like that, I wouldn't go back and erase him from existence. You know, but. Plus, that could have dire consequences, you know, but if that were, you know, able to happen. But, yeah, I'm just saying I had a whole story on that and all that, and on my mother's side, at least my siblings treat me better. I still don't really care for them too much. I still think they're, I mean, they, 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 they do help me out with some stuff, but honestly, they're still very obnoxious and in the car and all that, but it's not like they're, they're like, as bad as Keegan, they're, they're, they're still awful at times, but they're not, like, they don't, like, you know, abuse me and all that like Keegan does, but, um, yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking about that, though, and more so talk about other stuff, um, trying to think what else we kind of, what else I did there, too, oh, 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 yeah, we had this, this line, too, where, like, there was a specific spot where you could get these cheeseburgers, I, I usually would go to there to get cheeseburgers. Because I, I love their cheeseburgers. It was really good. And also, apparently, my, my, my stepdad, too, um, and my mom are, like, doing this thing. Or do some, I, I forgot what it's called. Um, like, like, we can't eat meat on Fridays and all that. Because I guess I was, I was, like, it's Lutheran or something like that. Like, I was baptized or something like that. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm eating meat. On, you know, on Fridays, because personally, like, I, I don't, I think I've said this before in the past, I don't really believe in the whole Jesus thing, you know, like, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, you know, if, if someone abused someone like that, because, I mean, people were cruel back in the day, they really were, but, like, like, some, some people would, like, and like beheaded people and all that. It was it was and I think there was even, there was gladi gladiators and all that. People were brutal back then, but, but I don't really believe in the whole, like, Jesus sacrificing you to get into heaven thing and all that. So I'm like, why why should I do it, you know, if I don't believe in it? I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying maybe he wasn't a real person. I mean, I think that he is a real person because they've gotten, you know, they, he's been buried somewhere. But, but still, I don't believe he had, like, powers and all that, you know. Because I'm like, I'm like, if he's had power, if he, was, if he rose from the dead, you know, why didn't anybody else, you know? You know, I, I just don't believe in that stuff. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But that's the thing. I just ate meat on Fridays and all that. My stepdad even told me, like, like you'll, you'll go, you're going to go to hell and all that. And I'm like, I really don't care. I mean, technically, at that time, I was freaking living in hell as it is. So I'm like, why not? Why do I care, you know? So, um, so yeah. I don't know, but. But yeah, I just had, I dealt with a lot of that stuff and all that, and, um, you know, and I will, I will say, I will say, though, I will say, you know, of course, you know, I did have problems in school, too. Like, I actually bro broke a window with my head. Yeah, see, I, I have, I, you know, me having bipolar and all that, I've done that stuff before. Heck, already at the house, I have broken the holes through all, all the walls and all that. Not not intentionally. I did it by accident. So of course, you know, like like I mean, I did it at home too. I I smashed my head against the wall, but they were making me pay for, it, and I hated that because it's not like I mean, I get that stuff costs money, but it's not like it's not like you know I I did that stuff on purpose. You know, I'm surprised I didn't actually cut my head open, but yeah, I did that stuff and all that and. I can't remember when I did that at home, but I did bre break the window and all that, and I had to go to the hospital, and it, it was, it was, it, you know, and all that, but, but they were still making me pay for it and all that, and that, that was just frustrating, because it's not like I did it on purpose, you know, uh, but, but yeah, I had to fix the window and all that, and I don't remember what happened. See, honestly, like I said, I don't remember... I mean, I don't remember a whole, whole lot about the school. It was just kind of, you know... 
like hit or miss and all that, but but I, I do remember too, I did have a lot of friends in, in school there and all that. Like I had like Faith and I had someone named Taylor and all that. I didn't really see Taylor too too much, but but Taylor was actually a Taylor was a nice gal. She was she was basically very um well I don't I don't remember like I get to see her too too much and all that, but I tried contacting her, but I can't get a hold of her at all, so I just haven't really talked to her too much. Um, you know, I mean, to be fair, I mean, if if you guys, I haven't said this too, if you guys are still sticking around, you guys, I can also, because I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter too, because I didn't say that. Yeah, I mean, I don't follow my friends on there too much, but, but you can follow me on there, um, those are where I post and stuff sometimes, you know, updates and all that. For some reason, none of mine are getting, like, notif noticed or something. I don't know what's going on there. It's, like, it's kind of annoying, you know, but I guess I probably don't have that many followers yet, but. But, yeah, I don't know. But, but yeah, this school, but, yeah, so this school, though, I, I did have some, you know, I had some memories and all of that, too, um. One thing I definitely didn't like, though, was, um, but one thing I didn't like about, about this, about this school, too, is I, I didn't like how they started kind of pushing me, you know, and all that, like, again, the whole cafeteria thing, you know, like, basically pushing me to go to the cafeteria, I like, the whole reason why I didn't go to the cafeteria, because my ears were hurting. See, people, even to this day, people do not understand autism. They, they, they say they do, but they really don't understand autism. You know, um, they don't understand autism at all. My, 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 my grandma, you know, she, she, she thinks she understands autism, you know, and all, but she really does, and she, she constantly says, you know, she, you know, um, she says she's gone, gone to, um, you know, she's, she's worked for mental health and all that before, all that, but, but that was also, like, years ago and all that, and things have changed, and, and people still don't understand it. And she doesn't understand my some of my stuff either. Like, I, I actually had to fight her with some of the stuff, because I'm I mean, like, I can do some of this on my own. I don't need someone to help me. Honestly, she kind of just pisses me off sometimes, but, you know, that's just how it is. But, you know, I don't know, but... Yeah, I did hate to have this school. They kind of did that, too, but... Now, also, I should say, too, I did go to, like, I did, I did have, like, we had blocks, you know, and all that, and, like, A days and B days were different, and one of them I had to go to a reading class and all that, and I, I hated going in there because, because, you know, I, I, I actually visited the school a few years back, and I actually avoided that school, that, because I did, did, I took a little detour there, but, I skipped that class. I skipped it on a tool on the detour because I was like, I don't want to go there because because you know like that 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 lady there was she was not doing her freaking job. She was just she was letting people like roughhouse and all that in there, and I'm just like, I'm like you know I don't want to I don't want to be in this classroom with with people roughhousing and all that. Like it was just it was frustrating, but. They made me go there and all that. That was kind of frustrating and all that. Another thing is too. Apparently they used to have book fairs. They had book fairs and all that. And um. But yeah they had book fairs. And then they um. Man they had book fairs. Well they used to have book fairs. But apparently. Because people didn't go to book fairs anymore. And all that. Because I guess. They're too old for it, you know. They they quit having them. I I I feel like that's kind of hard to believe, though. Even when I was there, I was like, like really? I mean, I'm sure there's a. I mean, I know I have a child like mine, and like to do things that other people don't like to do. But I'm pretty sure that that, that that's just an excuse because you know they want to find some way to get rid of book fairs. But um, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like, I feel like, you know, I, I had a lot of fun memories in here, but a lot of the classes, too, I really didn't care for that much, compared to, like, the middle school. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and say this school deserves a meh in 55 points. Yeah, this school is very mediocre and all that. Even if I even if I enjoyed some of the classes, I I still think that I don't, I don't know. I, I I'd say I probably maybe probably would have been a good. But the classes, yeah, a lot of them like were really not that my favorite. Like they really were not. I mean, we we did learn some stuff there and all that. But it really was just was not my favorite like school to go to. This is kind of where I definitely start feeling like, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, it feels pointless. I mean, I mean, at least with, with you know, ninth grade and all that, like, at least they still have classes you can take, but, uh, but by the time I got to 12th grade, yeah, I feel like this, the class is definitely, definitely will, would start repeating themselves. I mean, they already kind of repeated themselves in the middle school, but... I guess to be fair, here they kind of did a little bit more higher up stuff. They probably do like the classes, but they do higher up things, so I don't know. I mean, to be fair, like in third grade, I learned about multiple vocation. Fourth, I learned about division and then, you know, and all that. And in high school, it's where you kind of learn about algebra and all that too. and Which I'll be talking about because I did learn about that, you know, in my, you know, senior year, but, yeah, I don't know, I think this, this school just felt, it just felt kind of, you know, I mean, I did get lots of videos and stuff and photos, which is really nice and all that, but, but it just, again, it just feels more like it felt kind of like it was a waste of time and all that, and it probably didn't help, too, that, like, the crap I was dealing with at home made me struggle at school a lot. Cause I was struggling with change horribly. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, horribly. I was not doing good with the changes at all. It was just bad. I mean, I got used to, like, going to here and all that, but it still was not as great as the middle school. Like, I felt like the activities we did were a bit more fun and all that, but I did do this thing, too, where I did get to have, like, my teacher and all that come, come over. They gave me a little point system for that. Where I got like Law and John Silver with Austin, my friend Austin, you know, who was one of my friends in this school too. We get to eat all, and all that. They did a little point system thing here, but but it really was it really wasn't there wasn't much about it that I really cared about too too much. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely feel like yeah, and this is gonna kind of go into um, the JC school too. Where I definitely feel like. Like, a lot of the fun stuff I did, you know, was not really in the classes, but the other stuff I did, like field trips and all that. But, I will, but I will say, I still think the school was alright. But, I, I definitely probably would not want to go back to this school again to learn stuff, you know, but. Uh, but, but I think it's still, it was still an alright school. I mean, it would be a nice school to revisit again. But, um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to go ahead and end up letting things go from here, though. This video is definitely long. Not as long as, as the, the, the middle school one, but the middle school one, I was also talking about three different school years. Well, this one was one. And this is the last one, too, where I went to there for, like, one school year, and that's it. The, 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 the next one will be, um, you'll, it'll be a three-year school year, so... But anywho, I'll go ahead and let things go from here. See you all next time. Bye-bye.